What's good, homies? We're back in the garage. Today, we're going to be taking the crank out, installing some new bearings. Gotta get something done. It's really cold, but I'm like, you know what? My parts came in. I got some Permatex assembly lube. Just picked it up from Advanced Auto, and now it's time to go back in this workshop and get some, get some progress made. And before I start, I'm just going to pump. All right. Some people might get mad at me, but I don't do plastic gauge. I don't do the bearing clearance thing. I kind of just buy bearings and throw them in. And then some of you are probably going to be like, oh, my God, that's so terrible, blah, 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 blah. That's terrible. But guess what? Out of all the engines that have been built here in this shop, we've never done that and never had a problem. We've never spun a bearing. As long as you torque to spec, as long as you torque to spec, your oil pump is good and you use really good grade oil, not some cheap Walmart garbage, you should be all right. My last engine that I built, when I blew up the S12 the first time outside, I rebuilt it, didn't plastic gauge anything, put brand new bearings in, not a single problem, didn't spin a bearing. That engine right now is in an S13. The guy who I sold it to put it in an S13, and he's sliding it. He's saying there's not a single problem with that engine. So, end of story. I got some more ARP studs. Uh, studs. Uh, I got my bearings. These are my main bearings. And yeah, I like ARP and Summit because they give stickers. No one else gives stickers. Got my little my washers and I got my main studs. Bam. Poor lighting in here. I apologize, but I can't wait to put them studs up in there. Ooh, it's going to be it's going to be brisk. It's going to be brisk AF. Brisk is a new word that I'm going to start using. So start using it. <laughs> Got the appropriate nuts. All right, so let's take this off. I need to figure out a smart place to put it. I'm gonna just try to set it over here on this blanket upside down because I'm gonna need to wash those journals out, break clean them so they're dry. All right, let's see. Some bearings, see? Bearings should not pop out. One, that one's out, main, and then that one's out. They should not pop out. They should stay attached to whatever journal that you put them in. Just look at this. Improper installation. Whoa, this one scored. Look at that. Look at that home skillets. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, uh, man, I'm going to have to inspect this crank once I take it out, which I should be able to do now. Oh, wait, I forgot. I got to take that ish off. Crank's out, and now I can inspect these journals, well, these bearings. Let's oil on the back of them. Let's see. Yeah, they're... they're Ooh, man, they're, they're scored pretty bad, <laughs> at least to me. Took out my first set of bearings. My, they were just dull. I didn't see little lines going through them. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a line going through one of these. This one has a line going straight up and down. That one's going to be hard to get out. Not not the journal line, not the oil passage line, but there's a, on this one right here, I don't know if you can see, there's a line right to the right of that oil passage. So this engine was starving of oil or it had a really, really low grade oil in it. Okay, 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 okay. There's been a change of plans. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I'm not going to just slap that crank in there. I really just started looking at myself. I started rethinking. I'm not going to just slap the crank in there. Put some new bearings and blah, 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 this, this, that, you know, just bearings out, put new bearings in, boom. All right, on to the next step. No, we're going to do this right. We're going to do this right. I got some, some gunk stuff cleaning the block right now. I'm like, I want this to be like my best possible work. So I'm actually going to not install the crank. Some of you might want to see that, but I want to really do my best job on that S12. 
I want to put everything, my heart and soul into doing this. I don't want to like, you know, do this, you know, 50%, 70%. I want to go 200%. I really want to have this block fresh. I want this block clean inside and out. Like, because as you can see, it's starting to rust in some spots. I keep the bag over it, but I really want to like do this properly because I'm over here wiping it with this cloth. I started wiping down the journals after I break cleaned them and you know, I'm just like, I just started thinking in my head like, is this really how you want to approach this? Yes, I want to get it done for content so I can just keep posting video after video after video, but what's the point of me trying to build this great engine for the car that I love that you guys want to see if it's just going to possibly spin a bearing or blow the hell up, you know, within three months just because of some little thing that I didn't do as in like, you know, cleaning it or hot tanking it or whatever the heck it is. I really just want to do this properly. I want like underneath this to be as clean as possible. I'm just talking up a storm, but I really want you guys to understand where I'm coming from. I don't want to just slap some bearings in and call it a day. I want this block to be race ready. I want this block to be legit. In the comments below, how should I like go about doing this? Because I've made up my mind. If I'm going to be sliding and doing, you know, all this stuff with the S12, this block has to be, for those who watch Adventure Time, you know what that means. <laughs> but I really need this to be the best block that I could ever, really. I mean, no such thing as the best block ever besides an LS block. Ha, some of y'all going to be mad, but those engines are built pretty good. But I just, I just want to do this right. I want to do this right. I don't want to slap bearings in, like I said, probably like the fifth time. I don't know. I record this in sections, so I kind of forget what I said in the last part. But anyway. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but I think a cat is getting railed outside because that sounds crazy. <laughs> Give me some feedback, home skillets. Take care. Have a nice day. Peace.